Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we have a simple book binding project. We are going to make our own book with some glue. We can use the book binding glue, that's the PVA glue. Or if you don't have it and you don't want to buy it, you can use the Elmer's glue. There are tons of ways to bind a book. I'm just going to make a very simple project today. If you have a lot of scrape paper, maybe from your mistake printing and it's really easy to just glue it together and make a simple notebook first we'll talk about the paper you can use any type of paper and the most common one is a printer paper i have the u.s letter size here and an easy way is to just cut in half or fold it in half to make the half letter size or the a5 size there's really no limit on size of the book you can make. Since I have the paper cutter, I'm going to use this as a guide to make sure the pages are cut neatly. Or you can just fold it half carefully and use a scissor to cut. Since my letter size paper is 11 inches long, so half of it will be 5.5 inches. I try to be more precise so it has a nice edge but it's really up to you it doesn't have to be perfect and I try to cut several papers at once so it saves some time here I cut it in half again so it becomes a very small booklet now I have two stacks of paper the next step is to apply some glue to the spine if you are serious with book binding, I highly recommend the PVA glue. It's not really that expensive. I got mine from Amazon. I will place the link in the description box. And it says it dries clear and remain flexible. And it's also pH neutral, so you will not yellow the paper. And if you don't want to spend extra money, you can just use Elmer's glue or the common white glue for the school. And we are going to try both glues and compare the result. Here I cut another piece as cover. I just cut it from an old notebook cover. And in the back I cut a piece of cardboard. It's just a regular cardboard. And then I try to keep the pages aligned. So I'm going to glue on the top here. If you have a book press you can use it. If you don't, you can just use anything heavy or heavy textbook. And I'm just going to use my knitting machine weight. And the other book is the same. I cut the cover from an old notebook. And at the back, I add a piece of cardboard. You can add one extra paper at the back. And we can glue this page to the cardboard after we're done. And it's the same. We try to glue the top, so we have to make sure this side is straight and have something heavy on the top. Now I'm going to use a craft stick to place the glue on top of the spine. I decide to glue the top instead of the sides so you can flip up to open the book. First I'm going to use the Elmer's glue you can use a brush too for the glue but the stick is easier you don't have to worry about cleaning you can just throw it away you just make sure it's flat apply evenly don't use too much you can glue from center outward so it doesn't get too messy you can press in a little bit, so make sure it goes to in between the paper. After the first coat is dry, maybe around 20 minutes, then we can apply another coat. It's better to have at least two coats. And it's the same with the PVA glue. I use a stick. This looks just like a white glue and it's about the same consistency and just try to apply evenly 
and apply it twice. Now we apply the first coat. We will wait for about 20 minutes, half an hour, and apply another coat. Two coats should be enough. The first layer is about dry, and you can see the right side is uh, Elmer's glue. It seems more wavy compared to the PVA glue. I think it has more water content maybe, but overall both look pretty similar. Now we are just going to apply the second coat the same way. I'm going to cover it with some tape after it's dry. Either the book binding tape or any type of tape, even the duct tape will work. Or washi tape is a good option too. So this part doesn't have to be perfect. You might see some stains, but we try to keep it as clean as possible. And we'll do another coat of the PVA for this notebook. The PVA seems easier to apply. You can see it's a little bit thicker and less watery. And I try to scrape off any excess glue so it doesn't take forever to dry. I add another coat for the book with the Elmer's glue because it's not very strong in holding the pages together. This one doesn't stay very well, but we'll let it dry a little bit longer, maybe overnight or several days. But the PVA one is very strong. You can see it's already dried and all the pages stay together. And here are two booklets I made a week ago. This one is with PVA glue and the other one is Elmer's glue. After it dries, they both work pretty well. It works pretty well on the side for PVA. And this one is the Elmer's glue, the clear one. Once it's dry, it holds pretty strong. But this one seems more stiff compared to the PVA. The PVA is more flexible. And the Elmer's glue seems to make the paper more wavy. Maybe it has more water content. So if you just want to make a quick notepad or journal, so you have something to write on and you can throw away after that, then the Elmer's glue will be fine. But if you want something to last longer, if it's important, you will need a pH neutral PVA glue so it doesn't discolor the page over a long time. When your glue is dry, you can add a piece of paper and just glue it on top for the spine. Or you can use special book binding tape the book binding tape is acid free and it's strong enough for the paper. So that's a very convenient choice. I can just tape it over the top. For the Elmer's glue, I find it a little bit more difficult when your book is a little bit thick. It's a little bit harder to hold the paper together. Now this one with PVA glue is pretty dry, so I'm just going to cut a piece of the tape and the tape over the top. And also fold it in the back carefully. And we just cut off the extra one and we are done with this book. And you can tape over the last page. And then we are done with this book. Since I want to make the front one thicker for this notebook because there's some stains there, 
So I place several layers. Some are more to the front, some are more to the back. And then I just need to cut off the extra. The book binding tape comes in different widths too, depends on how big you need. It's not completely dry yet, so it's still a little bit flimsy. But the PVA one is pretty much ready to go. It's better to put it under a book press or put something heavy on top for a few more days to let it completely dry first before you use it. And another suggestion is the inside. You can print out any type of the grid or lines you want and make it into books. So that can be a choice for bullet journal. Or if you want to make your own sketchbook, you can use any special paper such as watercolor paper or mixed media paper and make your own sketchbook. I hope you like this project. You can repurpose old paper and old notebook cover or save some of your artwork and make it into a book. Thank you for watching today and see you next time.